at the end of PP Wharf, the height of tide above seabed can be modeled by a trig uh, function. Okay, so this is a trig function. So we're talking about the height of tide above the sea. And the maximum depth of water above the sea, above the sea bed, is 5.5 meters and the minimum is 1.5 meters. So let's write the fact. So let me start from here. So you got maximum. You got the maximum height of 5.5 meters and the minimum height of minimum of 1.5 meters. And this is a trick function, so you can write this as a sine or a cosine graph. Okay, high tide is 6 after after the low tide. So this is the vital information. So <clears throat> the time from the high tide or from the maximum to the minimum is uh, 6 hours. So you can say half a period. So from the maximum, basically what they're saying is that at the time from maximum to minimum is 6 hours. So half a period is 6 hours six hours so this is in meters this is also in meters so you can say the period is 12 hours this is basically enough to write the equation of the uh, the trick uh, graph or the equation trick function <coughs> okay one more information the low tide is at 6 30 a.m now you want to obtain the equation of equation of the model for the depth of water at the end of wharf where d is the d in meters is the depth of water and t in hours after midnight so let us draw the x and y axis so so let's draw the graph and then we'll write the equation so this is d for distance okay distance uh, uh, where d is the depth of water Okay, so height of water or depth of water. And on the x-axis, we are taking time, t for time. This is time after midnight. This is time after midnight. So we know the low tide is at 6 a.m. Okay, now from this, let's write what's the maximum, you know the maximum minimum. So well, we can see the baseline is the average of this two. So this is 5.5. So let me write it 5.5 plus 1.5 divided by two. So this is 5.5567. 5, this is seven divided by two. So your baseline is 3.5. Okay, the amplitude is the distance from the maximum or minimum to the baseline. So if you go the distance from the baseline to the maximum or maximum to baseline is 2. Or the distance from 1.5 to 3.5 is also 2. So the amplitude is 2. So let's first graph it. So we know the baseline is say 3.5 here. So this is 3.5. This is maximum. And this is minimum. So let's start so 630 is somewhere here so this is 6.5 6 6.5 is 630 okay and you've got one two three four so this is one full cycle so we know you've got one period is 12 hours so this is 6.5 plus 12 point uh, sorry 12 hours is 18.5 so this is six p.m. okay so and yeah this is so a quarter cycle would be three hours so this is 9.5 so this is 930 and then you've got 12.5 which is 1230 and am I right yeah and then you've got 12 plus 3 is 15.5 which is 330 okay so we know the this is your minimum so let me use a different color this is minimum okay so so this is 
let's do only one cycle so this is what yeah so this is one cycle so one cycle goes somewhat like this so this is so this is enough to write the so let me write here so so that you know what is 6.5 6.5 means it is 6:30 a.m. 6:30 a.m. and this is where you can do major mistakes 18.5 is 12 hours after that that is 6:30 p.m. 6:30 p.m. so this is the key so now from this we want to write the equation now to write the equation I would like to, I like to write the equation like this this is the general form the so it depends on where you're starting so let's say the starting point so let me write here so let's say the starting point is at 6.5 that is 630 6.5 at this it is a negative cos graph okay so this implies we are we are going to write in negative cos graph so the equation the general equation of any trig graph or sine or cosine graph is amplitude times sine or cos so let me write it it can be sine or cos and this depends on the starting point where you start times 2 pi or 360 divided by period if you know this formula you can write any equation times x or I should write here yeah, the the horizontal is t so I'll write t here yeah, and here I should be writing let me write here d because your y is d so d okay so in this case it is y is d and the x is t so let me write t minus the starting point close the bracket to plus the baseline so this is the general equation so we can write well d is equal to amplitude what is amplitude amplitude is 2 so you can say 2 your, this is a negative cos graph so 2 times minus cos times 2 pi divided by the period your period is 12 hours so 2 pi divided by 12 times x sorry I should write d here sorry t minus your starting point so starting point is 6.5 close the bracket you have to do one more bracket plus the baseline the baseline is 3.5 so let's simplify this slightly so here yeah, this will be d is equal to minus 2 cos this would be pi by 6 times t minus 6.5 plus 3.5 now to use a graphic calculator to confirm our answer so let's save pi by 6 by letter D so letter A so we're going to save this as A so your final equation is D is equal to minus 2 cos bracket A times T minus 6.5 plus 3.5 and we will confirm whether this is what we're going to get okay so let me get my calculator out so let me delete this okay so the first thing that we need to do is save pi by 6 as a so this is how you do shift pi by 6 equal and then press this arrow key then alpha a and now if you press alpha a you can see the calculator has remembered that as this number so let me see my equation okay my equation is hopefully yeah so 
So let me drag this up so that I can see both the equation and the graph. Okay, so let me write, I didn't finish the graph. So this is your amplitude, your baseline minimum was 1.5. So this is 1.5. Your baseline is, baseline is 3.5 and maximum is 5.5. Okay, so this is fine. Now go to graph and type in the equation minus 2 cos bracket alpha a close bracket. So let me see the equation properly. Okay, a times, you can't enter t there. You can only enter x minus 6.5 two brackets plus 3.5 okay I need to change the scale I'll go shift my scale is from 0 to 24 on x-axis so this is 24 hour cycle and then I've gone from 0 to, on y-axis I've gone from 0 to 6 that's fine and then draw the graph okay so we want to confirm the minimum should be at 6.5 and will be 1.5 so G sol G sol minimum 6.5 1.5 and if you go so this is this this is a quarter period is how many hours so this is three hours so if you go you this one if you go backwards so if you go six hours backwards this is six hours so this will be the maximum you will reach at 0 0.5 okay so we want to confirm this maximum so the first maximum is half an hour after midnight 0.5 and the next is so let me show you that this is what we are looking for this is maximum which is 12.5 this is 12 30 uh, p.m. so this is 12.5 comma 5.5 so let me confirm that so G sol maximum. That's this is uh, 1230 mid after midnight, and then if you press this 12.5.5.5. Okay, and now we want to answer this question. Use this. You use your model to find the depth at 2 p.m. Now 2 p.m. is uh, this is somewhere here. Yeah. Okay, so this will be 1330. Sorry, 15.30 is 3.30. So 2 will be somewhere here. So you can make an estimate. It will be about 3.5. So let's go. And GSOL want to find Y when X is. So 2 p.m. is 14 hours from midnight. So you have to type in 14, not 2. Which is 4.91. Okay, the height is 4.91. So we can say the height at 2 p.m. is 4.91 meters to be exact.